if you really like real rewards, it human rewards, then you get to help this person. And then when they're five years down the road, they have their first kid. They said, I would, I would have never made that there if it wasn't for you guiding me through those years and the lessons I learned in the weight room. That's the reward. You don't need any money for that. Yeah. And it's that will get passed on to their kids. That's why I say they, they go, they, they got to pay you back. I go, you help the next guy when you can. That's your duty. Mm hmm. I don't need the hundred dollars that I gave you six months ago. So you could get some fucking food and some gas. I don't care about that. I'm mm -hmm. like, pass it to the next guy when you can. And then if we all do this, we'll get lifted up as, as men, what we're going to see right now. Now this is going to get weird. I'm not trying to get off topic on, on the, on the lifting, but what we're seeing now, especially after Corona, everything is so easily accessible to allow yourself to live a fully secluded life. Your groceries can get delivered. Your job's online. You pay your bills online. You don't have to go anywhere. People are making really good money now for doing nothing but sitting on their computer. What is going to happen if we don't help these men is we're going to have people with no friends, no skills, no self-worth, no self-love, which means no discipline. They're going to be sitting in their basement. What happens when you sit in your basement by yourself? There's no one to talk to, so all you do is blame the rest of the people. That's going to stew, and it's going to stew, and then when it comes time to court a female, they're not going to have the skills, so they're going to stew, they're going to stew, they're going to stew. And then it's going to become a pressure cooker because all you're doing is sitting there alone with your own thoughts. So people think that things are bad now. Keep treating these young men the way that you're treating them and telling them that they're evil and that they're toxic men and all of this stuff. And I'll bet your ass in the next 10 years that things are going to get exponentially worse. We need to have alpha males and we need to have strong men at the helm of this shit. That has to happen. That is a biological primitive thing that happens. Hierarchies are going to manifest themselves. We've seen it again in over again and again in nature, and we see it in everything. We see it in weight rooms, right? So we see it is sometimes it's the strongest dude who's the head of the crew. But eventually that guy gets hurt because he's just brawn. The guy that's strong and smart that has the mix or the guy that's too smart that doesn't have enough brawn. It's the mix of the two. You have to be an educated bad motherfucker. And then we need more of those to teach the next generation of kids that they have some self-worth. They're not evil. It's okay to be a man. All right. That's it. You can do basically whatever you want. Anybody can do whatever they want if they set their mind to it to a certain degree. And, and you're a rare breed that is extinct right now or in danger. We'll call them or they're endangered species right now. Like human beings that are useful. Remove the remove the computer. For most of these guys, they are useless. They don't have a skill. Mm -hmm. They can't protect anything physically. They don't know how to use a weapon. They don't know how to fight. They don't know how to do anything. They can't move anything heavy. They can do nothing. When the bad man's at the door, they can curl up in the corner and call the police. They can't do anything to protect anybody. There are still women out there. My wife likes being a woman, biologically, emotionally, everything. I like her being a woman. She likes me being a man. Unison. It's very primal. It's very normal. We we can have these things. They're teaching these kids that they can't be manly. It is completely insane. Like, it's okay to be good at stuff and to lift heavy objects for people and to help the old lady across the street and also study. You can be a useful human being. It's also okay to go help the other generation and go out there and try to help more and more people. All of this stuff makes you a very useful human being. And then, to your point, it's gonna that's going to set you light years ahead of everybody else. Well, yeah, but it's uh, going back, I think it's a bad idea to rely on our educators to raise our children. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, yes. That, that oh, should yeah. be the parents and the community and you know, the gyms that you train in. You know, it takes a village to raise a child. You know, I've never included the educators as being part of that village. Never. I never thought of that once. Yep. You know, so it's so a lot of I think that a lot of criticism is being misplaced to where it needs to be placed on the village that's actually raising that kid well, or should that should be exactly yep. raising that kid. Well, that's what it, when we're in this computer age and this post coronavirus age. Then what? Yeah, it's what what village they they don't have they don't have a village because they don't allow themselves access to the village, and their parents are just not letting them making them get off their video games and or whatever the hell is happening. But this is a fucking recipe for disaster. We don't they can't meet guys like us that want to help them, or they can't meet the alpha male, or they can't develop a useful skill if they won't leave their goddamn computer. So what's going to happen when you get to the age where you realize that you have to be a useful human being in society, but you're fucking terrified because you have no skills of any kind, socially, physically, mentally, or other? What's going to happen? 